Rogue River School District is taking steps to keep one of its school mascots. The Oregon State Board of Education ruled back in 2015, 14 Oregon schools with Native American mascots would have to make a change. Among those schools, Rogue River. NBC5's Nikki Torres spoke to those schools today. She joins us live in studio with more. Nikki? Craig Kristen, seven Oregon schools are working with local tribes to keep their Native American mascots. They're creating Native American lesson plans in exchange for the ability to keep their identities. A Roseburg school just finalized a deal, and now Rogue River is hoping to do the same. A lot of people, when they think about the, the Indian tribes uh, in Oregon, they think about a, an Indian riding a pony across the plain. A new deal could change that. Paul Young is the superintendent for Rogue River School District. He's working on a plan with the Siletz tribe to add Native American lessons to the curriculum in exchange for being able to keep Rogue River's chieftain mascot. I think if they took away the mascot, they would be taking away the heart and soul of the school. Cheryl Martin's son is a Rogue River alumni, and you could say it runs in the family. All of my brothers graduated from there, and my sister graduated from there. All my kids graduated from there and my grandkids. Her father was on the school board. 39 years there. And I think that's got to be a record for anybody to stay on the school board. He was also part Indian. He was the great grandson of Chief Joseph. Which brought her even closer to the true meaning of a chieftain. Proud and strong and brave. And they are willing to go the extra mile for what they believe in. Everything she says her dad embodied. Absolutely. Dad was a chieftain, yeah. Though it's been over 20 years since her father passed on, his legacy is left behind at the high school's totem pole, and the school's gym was named after him as well. That's why she's supporting a deal to keep the chieftain mascot. We have such a rich Native American heritage right here in our valley that so many of the kids aren't aware of and we need to make them aware of it and let them know why it's important to carry on this chieftain name. Rogue River School District will continue to work with the Siletz tribe on an agreement. There's no word on when that will be finalized. Live in studio, Nikki Torres, NBC5 News. Nikki, thanks.